what is up you guys so today's video new hair who's this okay we're gonna be basically showing you or i'm gonna be showing you how i achieved my red hair um in two steps so if you want to see how i did it definitely keep watching and as always don't forget to shine bright because it's slow hollywood time Hello you guys, so yes, my hair looks puffy. I have the red shirt on, so what does that mean? That means we're gonna be dyeing my hair red again because it's that time of the month. So I actually haven't dyed my hair in like two months. It's gonna be like eight weeks. So as you can see, I have some roots growing out. Also, my hair is not as vibrant anymore. It's pretty kind of like dark. Um, let me go outside so you guys can see better. So this is kind of how it looks like when direct sunlight is hitting it. It does look kind of red, but it's like just not vibrant, you know, here's the roots. So today I'm doing a, something a little bit different. So we're going to be doing a bleach wash and I went to Sally's. The girl there was so helpful. Her name was Evelyn. I honestly loved how like informative she was and she said to do a bleach bleach wash first. That way um, it can kind of lift the hair a little bit and then I'll add the actual color to it. Um, so I'll show you guys that process and how it looks after. So this is before. Um, and then also let me just do a little haul of everything I got because I was not expecting to get all of this stuff, but I did. Um, but I did get an email about them having a sale for four um, products for $20, which is insane. It's so good. So let me go ahead and show you guys everything I got. So originally, I already have um, this um, hair color by L'Oreal High Color Excellence. And this is in the shade magenta and red. And I have a 30 volume developer, which I need to go get. But last time I dyed it, these two were not enough. So originally, I was just going to get another set of two. But let me show you guys everything I got, which isn't that bad. I got quite a lot of stuff, you guys. Um, let's see how much I spent. I was not trying to spend this much, but I just added up. Um, so $79.58 total, but I got so much stuff. So let's stick right in there. So I got another set of the high color, again, magenta and red. And then these are everything that I else that I got is four for 20. So I got this texture ID. She told me that this is a really good brand for curly hair girls. Um, so you can see right here, it's for different curly types. And this one is going to be a refresher spray. So like the next day curls to refresh them. I got a heat protectant. This is um, from Silk Elements, Strength, Strengthen and Silk Coconut Heat Protection Spray. So I'm really excited to um, try this out because lately I have been kind of using the curling wand on my hair so I thought this would be a good thing to use I also got this texture ID intense moisturizing leave-in conditioner again for curly hair which I'm really excited to use so they had a lot of brands that were on sale but she said the texture ID was the best one for curly hair um, I also got the Texture ID Detangling Conditioner. I'm excited for that. So you can see that's four products there. So that's four for 20. And then any additional product was only $5, which is so good. So then I got the Texture ID Styling Cream. She's the, she said that this one was really, really good. I let her know that I usually I use the Cantu brand, which I actually really love and it's really inexpensive. But she said that that one has a lot of alcohol and she did say this one was a lot better. So I'm excited to try it out. And then I also got the matching um, shampoo, Texture ID Detangling. And now for the actual bleach wash, this is the big container I'm going to put everything in. So she said I needed some shampoo. So this right here um some bleach so for these i have really long um and thick hair so this is what she said i should put in there and this 20 dollar or 20 not 20 dollar 20 volume developer so all of this is going to go into this bowl for the bleach bleach wash so i will be right back 
Okay guys, so here I am. I did my little setup. So I mixed the contents of these three items into the bowl. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a bubble. <laughs> and I'm just mixing it. And then this is gonna be the bleach wash. So she said that I'm gonna just put this in my hair no more than 30 minutes to kind of just eyeball it. Cause ideally I just want my hair to be like an orange, light orange color. And she said this is gonna foam up. So I'm gonna put this into my hair. And I really liked how she just gave me literally what I have to put in there so I don't have to measure out anything. So again, um, I did four of these, two of these little bottles of shampoo. So that's a total of four ounces altogether. And then developer was four ounces as well. So this is enough for my hair. And I have pretty long, thick hair. So I'm gonna put this in my hair and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I'm done putting it in and look, it's definitely lifting. So I'm gonna leave this on for like 30 minutes, she said. Um, and I did use the entire thing. Let me show you guys. I used the entire thing. So 30 minutes and then we'll wash this off. So let it dry and then put the color in. Okay guys, look at my hair. So I left on the bleach wash for like 40 minutes and it definitely lifted so i'm very happy about that now i think i'm just gonna let it kind of dry brush it out and then we'll put the color on but i'm actually not mad at this color like i like it kind of <laughs> so this is what it looks like after the bleach wash 40 minutes <laughs> Okay, here is the hair after the bleach wash. So now I'm gonna put this red color in it. So it should definitely get red. So this is the magenta and the red. So let's do this. guys okay it's the next day and holy moly guacamole um yeah my hair is very very red very bright um this is what i wanted but now i'm just like uh oh, it is kind of too bright um i'm gonna show you in a different lighting i mean i feel like i did a really good job like i don't have any hot roots or anything um but maybe i just need to get used to it so let me just get ready and then um i'll come back on here but yeah you guys it definitely worked like the bleach um bath worked and then um that was amazing and then um the color on top of it this is what i got which is like wow perfect and then i did do the roots last that way i don't get hot roots but yeah this is what it looks like i will come back and show you a different look in a bit <laughs> oh my god you guys look at the hair like wow it's so vibrant so pretty i feel like ariel honestly like i'm like used to it now i told you guys that i was like oh my god it's so bright but with my makeup on and like you know arreglada i feel like good like i'm like wow i love it you guys so yeah this is how i achieved this really vibrant hair so give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below hit that bell so you don't miss a single video and i will catch you next time bye